Welcome to Soltron. This is a video review for the Metcard Ball Acon Sphere. Right, and here's a size comparison. All right, and then here's his box, standard blister pack. And then you can see all his modes on the front. And then you can see his combined mode on the back. And then the instructions are nothing special. They're just black and white. All right, and here's a 360 view of this guy. And I think his robot mode is pretty sleek. I think all of his little pieces actually come together pretty well. I'd say that this robot mode is definitely like an eight. I feel pretty good about it. I like eh, maybe like a nine even. It's, it's definitely growing on me. At first I thought it was pretty generic, but the more I look at it, the more I kind of enjoy it. And then he's got like that standard police robot colors of black, blue, and white, which I always like. So for quality, this guy is definitely like a 10. He feels rock solid in hand. Everything feels really good. Um, this is not the kind of plastic that you drop and it just breaks. So his articulation, he's got, actually, let's take a look at his head sculpt. Cause I really like this head sculpt and kind of like a little bit again, like a, maybe a little police nod with this red crest on top, but he's not really a police robot. I don't think he does have a rotating head, which is very nice because his head actually pops up and has this panel on the back. So I didn't expect that. And then he does have nice ratcheted shoulders. He's got some outward motion, but his little elbow spur here kind of gets in the way, but you can get a full outward if you rotate the arm correctly. He does have an elbow joint and of course it's a curling iron elbow he does have bicep swivel which is very nice and then he does have rotating fist for transformation and then he does not have a waist joint because he actually has a gimmick where he comes apart and then if we can get his arms out of the way he does have full outward kick full backward kick mostly and then full frontal kick and then rotating thighs and then 90 degrees on the knee and then he doesn't have any ankle pivot but he does have like some rotation for transformation so pretty standard on the articulation department maybe a little bit better than most korean robots because he can actually rotate these which is nice he does come with a couple weapons so he comes with this sword gun maybe maybe that's a cannon you can kind of like fold this back to make it look more like a cannon and then he's got this small little met card ball launcher so you just push this and then that's gonna launch it's not that um, fancy it just relies on friction to hold the ball in place but yeah I think pretty great looking robot mode and then he's got some interesting things happening on the back here. He's got like basically this entire car back here. So he does have some other cool little gimmicks, which I think really add to the playability of this figure. So yeah, he's got this firing ball launcher, which is fun. Um, he's got another Metcard ball port in his abs here that you can keep, but that doesn't, that's just for storage. But you can also fold this down and he's got the Akon figure fits in here, and as you pull it out, his head's going to go down. So when you're transforming this guy, like a really cool thing this does is these kind of like fold in place. Let's get this out of the way. These fold in place like this. So this whole back panel is closed up. And then it's got a little indent here where you use this magnetic ball. And that's going to cause these to fly out, which is pretty cool. Transformation gimmick. And then you shove this into the core and that's going to push the head up and it's going to open this chest panel. So that's pretty fun. I really like how they worked out this whole gimmick. And then you can kind of just put this back in place and that covers up the back as well. Or you could just leave this off. Um, this is more for the combined mode of having this part closed off, but that's also a nice, uh, good sleek look. And then you can have this additional little, like, 
I guess you can pretend it's like a little cannon weapon because it's got this barrel here and a post here. Um, I don't think it's, I think the post is too short though, so it can't actually fit in his fist. So that was a real missed opportunity that he can't actually hold his weapons. And the same is true in the combined mode. Like his, his hands just can't reach. Like the combined mode, which you saw in my other videos down here, his legs become his arms, but even, even then he still can't reach the post. So he can't really hold that weapon. He can hold this just fine because it's got a longer post. And then, let's see, he can hold this weapon in his hand too, so that's nice. In his combined mode arm. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty pleased with this robot. He's, he's definitely really fun. And then, let's just look at the core robot too. So I'm going to open this back up. So the core robot's basically just this little car. And it's very small. Like here he is with a Voyager figure. So he's actually a little bit smaller than a Deluxe. Maybe he's he's somewhere between a Deluxe and a Core class. And then even this like other red car is kind of in scale. They're both about the same size. So this, this car has a really cool gimmick where you use the mech hard ball and it's got a magnet in the front here. So you just kind of roll the magnet into it and then he transforms automatically. So that's pretty cool how quickly and seamlessly that works. And then the ball ends up in his chest, which is really cool. So this is what the little robot looks like. He's got some definite paint mess back here, which I'm not used to. Usually you see this more on like Chinese figures. So it's surprising that he's a little bit messy, but you, to transform him back is a little bit of a hassle. You have to fold all this down and then get this into position. You have to hold things in place so they don't just spring back. And then you fold the hood in place, that snaps in place while you get the top section of the car all tabbed together. And then if you're lucky, everything will hold together, but that doesn't always happen. He's, he's very fickle. Okay, there we go. And then just one more time. Okay, and last time. So yeah, this gimmick works really well. Uh, I actually like this robot mode. I'm, it'd be nice if you could actually, if you had some posability, but it's understandable. He's so full of springs that he's not gonna have any posability. And it's too bad he doesn't have legs. It'd be nice if some legs could actually fold out from here. So it could actually look like a cooler robot. But basically this is what he looks like next to his basically his mech suit because he basically inserts inside of this larger robot. Okay, so let's go ahead and transform this guy into his ship mode. So you're going to just fold up this chest, um, these wings. I think you need to fold them on the back. I can't remember. And then you fold in his fists. And then you're going to go ahead and lay the robot down basically. And then you fold up the toes to become the front of the, of the ship mode. And then his hip skirts are clipped into place. So you're going to want to unclip those, and free those up. These are going to become the wings of the ship. And this becomes like the front. So you can see that mostly makes a clean front, but it doesn't really peg together. You need to actually use like the sword cannon or the gun sword. And those are going to peg into these slots here. And that's what's actually going to hold the front together. So if you lose this, you're going to have a hard time with this alt mode. He's not really going to peg in solidly anymore. And that's the whole front of the vehicle. And then for the back, you're just going to rotate these sections and then get the wheels oriented. So they're all the way in the back. This guy reminds me a lot of like a six shot mode where his arms kind of just like stick out the back and you get basically this vehicle mode and then you gotta have this car I don't know I guess if you want a more sleek vehicle mode you can just leave this car separate and they can be two separate vehicles so 
that kind of works. But really, oh yeah, and you need this orb launcher it has to go on top of this weapon, which is which hurts the look of it even more because now you got this giant weapon making it less aerodynamic. But then you're gonna take the orb and you do need to open up the wings back here. And those become like the tail fins of the vehicle mode. And then you're just going to peg in the car just like it was in the back of the robot mode. So it's gonna look like that, which makes the whole thing look even a little bit more ridiculous, but I guess these fins add some functionality to it. But overall, this vehicle mode's kind of a mess. It's a very six shot kind of vehicle mode because it's doing like too many things. And you can tell they put all their time and attention into the robot mode, which I don't mind. Um, at least it's a fun vehicle mode to transform back and forth. And then with the Voyager class figure, here he is. You can see that he's actually pretty giant. And then this guy can just like hang out on the side. Unfortunately, he doesn't really have a place to go in this mode. You can't really attach him with the orb. But it would be nice if you had like a little cockpit or something back here. Um, but yeah, this, this is an okay alt mode. I'd say this is like a, a six. It's kind of just like a bunch of parts put together. I think he looks much nicer when you take off those extra little bits. But he actually does have one more mode, sort of, where you separate his legs and torso. And this, um, this is also for his combined mode. You need to separate him when he combines with the Wolf Phoenix. But basically you're gonna end up with this and then you just rotate. These pieces down are gonna become the, the wheels because this becomes like two cars pretty much. And then you're actually going to unpeg these legs and then you joint them. You're gonna click them, the knees backwards one click and then you just peg them back together. So now they will peg to themselves. The cannon doesn't hold them together. And then you're gonna just fold up these tail or these wing sections. And you're gonna get basically a vehicle mode that looks like this. I think it looks better when you don't have the blade out. It looks more, you can kind of pretend it's a tank or something. And there you go, that's like a decent looking vehicle mode. That's not too bad. And then the other vehicle, you're just gonna fold down the car mode so it actually does something now. And it's gonna peg into that com where the com combination for the waste was. And then you do fold these down so they're not taking up space. And then you get the second vehicle mode, which is pretty terrible looking, honestly. This is not, I don't know why that's not sitting flush. Just does not look like much of anything. And then here he is with the Voyager class figure. So he's still a little bit bulkier. Both halves are a little bit bulkier than a Voyager class. They're definitely heavier. But yeah, so here's these two vehicles. This one I'm okay with. It kind of looks like a tank, I guess. And this one is just, I mean, you have to make sacrifices somewhere if you want a good looking robot mode, I guess. But yeah, um, that's basically the combination of this. Let me check the directions and make sure that this guy doesn't actually go somewhere. Nope, yeah, it's too bad that this guy isn't really integrated into the vehicle modes like the Wolf Phoenix is, or the Bite Wolf is integrated into all those modes. But yeah, I got this guy on G Market. It was about $80 after shipping, which I think is a pretty good deal for these figures. Um, yeah, or you can check my eBay listings. There's a Good chance that these guys will end up on there. All right, and I'll see you in the next one.